Meanwhile, moving on to the other exclusive news break uh, that India Today first carried. New 2,000 rupee notes will also be phased out in the days to come. This has been said by RSS ideologue S. Guru Murthy, who was part of the BJP's panel on black money. Speaking exclusively to India Today's Rahul Kawal, he said that the new 2,000 rupee notes will be phased out over the next few years, maybe in five years' time. He also said that the 2,000 rupee notes was introduced only as a bridge to meet the gap in cash being taken out of circulation. Gurmurthy says that the government is committed to moving towards smaller denomination notes and higher denomination notes will be done away within the next five years. What is important is that Gurumurthy is a key member of the RSS-backed Vivekananda India Foundation and seniors in the government have been closely consulting him while deciding on how to deal with demonetization. Let's listen in to what he had to say. If you introduce a new currency, it takes about five to seven years to fake it. But before that, you will withdraw the 2,000 rupee notes. 2,000 rupee notes is only a bridge. It is obvious. They are not able to uh, print enough number of 500 rupee notes and 100 rupee notes. The only way they could do it was to print 2000 rupee notes. After that, they will remonetize it without demonetization. So, uh, just let me try and understand this. So you are essentially saying it is your understanding that at some point in time in the next five years, these 2000 rupee notes will also be taken back without demonetizing but remonetizing. Obviously, because the banks will be told when you get 2000 rupee notes, you don't return them. Slowly, the banks will accumulate the 2,000 rupee notes and replace them with lower denominations. And if anything remains, 5%, 10%, 20% notes, they will say, come on, in the next one month or so, you change your 2,000 rupee notes for 500 rupee notes. So it will be like a virtual demonetization it, for No, no, no. It, it is a facing out. Uh, we have faced out many series like this in the past. So in this interview, in fact, uh, the entire interview will be playing out in a short while from now. But as Guru Murthy who is, remember, he's not a direct government voice, but he's somebody who's very closely associated with the government. He's an RSS ideologue. He has the backing of uh, senior, in fact, uh, government voices as well. So he does speak from a position of confidence. And S. Kurumurthy also said that the government would eventually prefer smaller denominations between 50 rupees to 250 rupees. Uh, managing editor, TV Today Network, Rahul Kawal is now joining us from the newsroom. Rahul, you know, after this interview played out, we just took a reaction from China NC of the BJP. She kept on saying that this is not a government announcement, please, uh, it, despite his seniority. Would you think that this is a deliberate way of messaging for the government? Well, after this interview got over, I had an opportunity to have a conversation with some senior government officials. One in particular who's been involved in the manner in which demonetization is being rolled out. And even before I could uh, tell him about what we'd done with the Guru Murthy interview, he already said that this is something the government was working on. So this is something that clearly is being discussed at different levels in government. And Guru Murthy, remember, at this time is speaking at the Vivekanand Foundation. Mm -hmm. He's been rolled out by the RSS, by the BJP as a counter to Amartya Sen, Manmohan Singh, uh, Kaushik Basu, the left-leaning economists who've trashed and torn apart demonetization. He's presenting mm -hmm. the right-wing counter. So he's speaking, in a sense, with the blessings of the government. So what he's saying has to be taken very seriously since yesterday the government has been mobilizing support around his lecture and right. also the fact that he's making it. So he's not speaking off the cuff. Hmm. Uh, secondly, there is a deliberate message in this as well, Smita, that people who may think that the 2000 rupee note is a good way of converting their black money and ensuring that it stays black, hmm. uh, they're being sent a very stern message that at some point in time in the future you will have to account for these 2000 rupee notes because the banks will be asked to take them okay. back. Not immediately, not in one go like with demonetization, but more gradually. That's the message the government's sending out, Smita. Right, of course, we will try and make more sense of this interview in subsequent broadcasts as well. But Rahul Kaval, many thanks. Thanks for getting us that exclusive news break here on India Today.